In this lesson, we're going to look at an application of electrolysis called electroplating. Electroplating is where you want to cover the surface of one metal with another. Before we start, let's look at the electrolysis bath that we have here. You can see the positive and negative terminals of the battery. So this electrode is attached to the positive terminal of the battery, so this is the anode, and the cathode will be attached to the negative terminal. So to help us understand electroplating, let's say that I've got a steel fork there like that, and I want to cover it with copper, for example. How do I go about doing this? Well, the first thing I've got to do is make sure that the anode, that's the positive electrode, is made from the material with which I want to electroplate the fork. In this case, copper. Let's make a note of that. OK, so I'm going to electroplate the fork with copper. The anode must be made from copper. Now, the object that I'm going to electroplate must become the cathode. OK, so I'm going to attach the fork to the negative terminal of the battery. The fork's going to become the negative electrode or the cathode. And in addition, the electrolyte must be an aqueous sort solution of the metal with which I'm electroplating. That's to say, in this case, it must be an aqueous solution of copper salt. Let's choose, for example, copper sulfate. OK, so both of the electrodes are immersed in a copper sulfate solution. OK, so we have an aqueous solution of copper 2 plus ions. And, well, there will also be sulfate ions because it's sulfate, sulfate 2 minus ion. And, uh, what will happen is the copper 2 plus ions will be attracted to the cathode where they will pick up two electrons and form copper and form a copper atom and the copper atom will adhere or stick to the surface of the steel fork so what will happen is gradually the steel fork will become coated with a layer of copper like that. And as the copper 2 plus ions are used up in the copper sulfate solution, so the copper anode will start to dissolve in the solution to replace the copper 2 ions that have been used up. So what will happen is this copper anode will slowly start to dissolve as the copper atoms form copper ions and move into the copper sulfate solution. As they do so, they will give up two electrons and those electrons will then pass around the circuit through to the fork and will be picked up by the copper ions as they stick to the surface of the fork. Again, as in electrolysis, there are two half equations going on here. At the cathode, we have the copper ions gaining two electrons to form copper atoms, let's move that over here, that's happening at the cathode, while at the anode, the copper atoms are losing two electrons and forming copper ions, which then replace the copper ions which are being reduced at the cathode. So that's at the cathode, and this is happening at the anode.